my amber. Um, I'm going to give a whack at this video response um, self esteem issue. Um, I wrote down notes here to follow. Uh, oh, first of all, I wanted to say those shades are really hot. And I wish I had the face to be able to pull them off, but my face is very small, like this way. <laughs> so when I put them on, they're like this. So I really do look like a bug. I look like a ladybug or something. Okay. <laughs> so with that aside, um, you asked about our self-esteem and things that we've noticed and whatever and funnily enough I just noticed a bunch of stuff while I was listening to you and while I was hearing the questions that you were asking and I was like that's interesting and because I was actually like thinking about it for the first time making an effort to think about it whereas before I guess I just ignored it um, I have good self-esteem in and it but it depends in what category or like genre we're talking here um, personality wise I'm probably cocky <laughs> or at least have a really healthy self-esteem because I think um, I was taught from a young age that you know just because you're pretty doesn't mean you shouldn't be you shouldn't have a personality and don't you can't coast through life on your looks and stuff like that because when I was young um, well, the deal is, uh, I was raised by somebody who was really good looking, that was my mom, she was really hot, and then my dad was not, and he still, <laughs> he thinks he's not, but, I mean, he's my dad, so I think he's handsome, but, um, he's got a really big nose, and just crater-faced, and when he was young, he looked like a plucked bird because he was so skinny but uh, yeah so he's always really instilled it into me to build your character and you know not rely on looks or whatever you have to have a sense of humor and you have to be nice to people and you have to think and stuff like that so um, personality wise I've never really had a low self esteem I've always thought you're a good person um, now when it comes to what I deserve, that's up for debate. I didn't really think, like this has all changed within the past three years. All the questions, the am I a worthwhile person, um, I'm a valuable person, do I have qualities that I need to live, when I look in the mirror, all of the questions that you mentioned would get like a zero from me. Like. Um, they just didn't exist three years ago, four years ago. I wasn't happy about anything in my life. I wasn't happy about me as a person, really. Uh, I was a failure. I was fat. I this and that, whatever. It was horrible. And I, I just coasted through life not even realizing it. And then one day I just woke up and said, what am I doing? Like... I'm 300 and something pounds, I, I'm hurt, I hurt every day, like, my knees were just shot, my body, my frame couldn't handle the weight, so, there was that, and I was in a crummy relationship, and, and I just ended it, and I was like, that's enough, and I'm done, and I don't need you, uh, to make me feel worse than I already feel about myself. So I moved back in with my parents and I spent the next two years of my life working on me. And slowly but surely my esteem adjusted properly to the way I am. Like um, all through my life, my teenage years, when I started gaining weight, I thought, oh, I'm so fat. And I was like 135 pounds and I thought I was fat. Now I saw my leg off to be 135 pounds again. But um, it didn't matter. I saw my mom constantly berating herself and going on diets and whatever. So I started dieting when, before I even hit my teens, really. And of course, that just made things worse. 
So, yeah, it took until I was about 23 to really get everything going on track. So, and now, number one, am I a worthwhile person? Yeah, I am. Number two, am I, am I as valuable a person as anyone else? You're damn right I am. Do I have qualities that I need to live well? I think that I have, um, I think that there's room for improvement. I, I, I would like to have a better education, and once I'm thinner, I'll have a better lifestyle health-wise, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, when I look in the mirror, into my eyes, am I, like, happy with, yeah, I am. Um, if I was looking at my body, probably not, because there are things that I don't like. Um, I don't feel like I'm a failure anymore. The things that have happened in my past that made me think I was a failure, I've come to the, like, I've come to the realization that I had no control over that situation, and I can't beat myself up for something I had no control over. Can I laugh at myself? Yes, I can. And I do it on a daily basis. Am I happy to be me? Yeah, I am happy to be me. It's taken me like 24 years of my life to be able to say that. But I am. And I'm glad. Um, I like myself even when others reject me. Uh, this one is a tougher one, but for me, it's a, it's a yes, for sure, because, um, I don't really, I don't really get rejected a lot, but probably partly because I, there's like a little hesitation there, but also I don't put myself out there unless I'm pretty sure, you know, something's gonna come back. And that could be like a trust thing. Maybe I do that on purpose just so, you know, as a countermeasure. Mm. I love and support myself regardless of what happens. Yes, I do. Uh, generally satisfied with the way I'm developing as a person. Yeah, and I think that uh, gaining the weight made me a better person. I think that I learned a lot and developed far more than I probably would have if I hadn't. Uh, do I respect myself? Yes, I do. I think, uh, I think I'm a good person and I deserve uh, what I want in life. Would I rather be me than someone else? That's a hard one because I think everybody's like, oh, I'd love to be, you know, Drew Barrymore or something. <laughs> Angelina Jolie, you know, I wouldn't mind switching with her for a couple days, but all in all, I'm pretty satisfied with myself. And then I wrote in captions at the bottom, um, I stopped living for other people and started worrying about myself. It took a few years, but now when I really sit down and think about it, I can see a difference. And I never, I didn't think about it until I watched your video. I really didn't. I didn't even, I didn't think, oh, I've come a long way. And I knew I had made a conscious decision to worry about myself and stop being such a people pleaser and stop, stop being so, I don't know. I can't think of the word. Well, I can, but it's not a good word. <laughs> it's not a word I'm going to say on camera, but I was a wimp basically. And I was just so bashed down that I never stuck up for myself. And I learned to deal with that. Yeah, um, your video cut out at the end, so I didn't get to see what the book was called or where you could get it. So if you could post that information, because I think it would, it would be great to have, regardless of, you know, if I think I'm my esteem's really great right now because that could change so if you could post that information that'd be really great and uh, yeah that's really all I can think of right now so thanks and I'll see you later